Hey guys, it's Carolyn with Beauty Beyond Bones and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite pregnancy meals that I have been eating. Being on the specific carbohydrate diet, which is a therapeutic medical diet that I've been on for 15 years and it's kept my ulcerative colitis in remission. For all of those 15 years, I've been symptom and medication free. It's changed my life, but it's very difficult to follow. But it is a creative challenge. Obviously, during pregnancy, you wanna make sure you have all the nutrients at your disposal in your diet because everything you eat your baby's eating. And I have a 21 week little girl in my belly right now. So I wanna make sure that she is getting the best of everything. And so I've really been focusing on nutrition with calcium, protein, iron, folate, vitamin C, all of the different vitamins and minerals and things that are gonna help build the cells of her body. So I wanted to share a few of my favorite meals with you, and I will list all of the recipes below in the description, as well as links to the recipes on my blog, Beauty Beyond Bones. And I hope you enjoy, and I hope that if you're pregnant, you find this helpful. And even if you're not pregnant, I hope this inspires you to get in the kitchen and whip up something delicious. So take it away. Okay, first up we have my husband and my favorite meal, pad thai and we make this specific carbohydrate diet friendly by using noodles made from hearts of palm so they're carb free and they are so delicious they're literally just hearts of palm they soak up the sauce beautifully and they're nice and slurpy and they are just a great thing to have in the pantry and honestly my husband says it's very hard to decipher them from traditional rice noodles. So this is one of our favorite meals. It's packed with protein. We make this with chicken. We make it with ground turkey. We make it with shrimp. They're, the protein possibilities are endless. You have eggs in there which have folate and choline and you have all of the micronutrients from the veggies and the healthy fats from the peanut butter. It is just, it's the perfect meal and it tastes so good. I have also made this using zucchini noodles, which are less expensive than the hearts of palm noodles, of course. And you really do get this slurpy noodle experience. I can't believe I am showing this video on the internet, but just look at that. It was so much fun to eat. And I will link the spiralizer that I have down below. It's super simple to make and it's really fun. Okay, let's talk lunches. Brunch for lunch is one of my personal favorites. I like to make banana pancakes and the ingredients for those are bananas, dates, almond flour, eggs, and a little bit of honey. And oh my gosh, they are so amazing. I like to serve it with a homemade blueberry compote and of course, lots of peanut butter because hello, peanut butter makes everything better. And we serve this with some sugar-free bacon and then some cheesy scrambled eggs eggs with spinach. Eggs are the perfect pregnancy food because they are packed with folate and choline and protein. And when you add cheese in there, you get calcium. So every lunch I have, I always make sure I have two eggs with cheese. So whether that's with some pre-soaked lentil pasta or my famous banana ice cream, eggs have been a staple in my pregnancy diet. Another lunch staple is leftovers. This was a curry that I had from the night before that I just added some fresh shrimp to and served it with my pre-soaked lentil pasta, which is a great source of iron and protein, both of which are vital for pregnancy. Okay, let's talk dinner. First up, we have a crowd favorite, hamburgers. I eat them in lettuce wraps. I cut the meat into strips. And this is a great pro tip if you're watching your carbs or on the specific carb diet. Lettuce wraps are a great tool. These are spring rolls made with shrimp and avocado. And this is one of my absolute favorite meals. Look at all of these healthy, wholesome ingredients. And then you just put them all in a little lettuce cup with some amazing peanut butter dipping sauce. It is so good. I have this at least once a week. I just made it for my parents yesterday. It is so good. You just gobble it all up and it's phenomenal. But lettuce cups are a really great tip. 
if you are carb free. I also have them with tacos. So tacos are great because they have iron, they've got protein, they've got calcium, they've got tomatoes and lycopene, healthy fats from the guacamole. They are just the perfect food, not to mention they are absolutely delicious. And my husband loves these as well. We serve his in soft or crunchy taco shells from Siete, which are a grain and gluten-free option that are so good. But no matter how you slice it, tacos are a winner and they make great salads the next day. We also make a lot of fried rice. I make mine with cauliflower rice and my husband uses wild rice or other rice, brown rice. But it's great because we make all of the veggies together first and then we put those with our respective rice choices. And it's a great meal. We use coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. And it's, again, it's got eggs in there with the folate and the choline. Eggs are literally the perfect pregnancy food. I cannot get enough of them. And you can use chicken, you can use shrimp, you can use ground turkey. The protein choices are endless. Let's talk about iron. When you're pregnant, the volume of your blood increases. And so you need to increase your iron intake because that's what supplies oxygen to your baby through your blood. And so this lentil pasta is packed with iron. And so I try and eat this multiple times a week. This is with pesto and shrimp. It's super great. We also eat a lot of salmon. This is what I call my better than sweet green bowl. If you've ever had sweet green in New York, you know they are the best and also most expensive salads. This is my homemade version of them and it rocks. Oh my gosh, we eat this twice a week and you can vary the protein, you can vary the vegetables. This particular one, we did salmon, I did cauliflower rice, my husband did regular rice. We have it with Brussels sprouts, some romaine and a gorgeous pesto sauce over the top. And wow, you just kind of mix it all together and it is truly the best combination. It's one of those no recipe recipes that just hits every time. My husband absolutely loves it. You can also make it with ground turkey. You can make it with ground beef and make it like a little Mexican bowl. You can do other types of fish. You can do shrimp. This is also a great meal to make before you have to go on vacation and you're trying to use up some of those extra veggies you have in the fridge. Salmon is so important when you're pregnant because it contains vitamin B6 and B12, both of which are vital to the development of your baby's brain function. So we make sure we eat salmon twice a week. We have a good sustainable source, wild caught. And one final shout out to another bowl that I made with ground turkey, roasted beets, and pesto. It was so good. Okay, let's talk pizza. My cauliflower crust pizza is one of our favorite dinners. We make it a couple times a month. It is packed with calcium and protein. The crust is made out of cauliflower, almond flour, eggs, and Parmesan cheese, and it is so delicious. Oh my gosh. The sauce I make homemade with tomatoes and carrots and all that garlic and mm, pizza-y goodness. And I like to serve it with a crisp Greek salad. It really hits all the spots and it is a meat-free, high-protein dinner. Speaking of meat, I try and eat grass-fed beef a couple times a week just because of the iron and the protein, and so I love making a homemade bolognese sauce. And here's a tip for not boring salmon that we just recently discovered. You can glaze it with Dijon mustard, honey, and fresh garlic. You put that on before you bake it. It's so good. Curry is another fabulous one. Um, there is a specific carb diet brand of coconut milk that doesn't have any guar gum or any fillers or stabilizers. I will link that down below. But it's so good. This we poached some cod fillets in, and the cod just takes on that spicy, warm, nutty flavor. It's so good and it's packed with veggies and protein as well. Snack time is my favorite time of day. This is my famous banana ice cream. You knew it was coming. I had this with a specific carb diet friendly granola, which I will link down below. But this is so amazing. I put probably a quarter of a cup of peanut butter in this and it makes it super creamy and delicious. I will list the recipe down below, but you can customize it with whatever fruit you have on hand. Just make sure you use one full frozen banana. 
Next up, you've got my roasted lima beans. Lima beans are one of the few beans that you can have on the specific carbohydrate diet, but you have to soak them for 24 hours before you eat them. And these I roast in the oven and they are so crunchy. And just listen to this. Again, they are packed with protein, fiber, and iron. Mm. I also love avocados, another superfood for pregnancy. I love just veggies and some homemade guacamole and sauerkraut. This is a great source of probiotics. Bubby's is by far the best. You get what you pay for. I will list it below, but it is so sour and a little bit salty and it really, it just is a craving that I absolutely love. And then of course, the pregnancy staple, peanut butter straight from the jar. I mean, are you really pregnant if you're not eating peanut butter straight from the jar? Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed these meals as much as I enjoyed eating them and cooking them. If you have any questions about the specific carbohydrate diet, there is a book and it is the Bible of the specific carbohydrate diet and I will link it down below. You can get it on Amazon. It's called Breaking the Vicious Cycle by Elaine Gottschall and it outlines everything from how to introduce the diet to all the different phases of the diet and everything that you could ever want to know about it. I still refer to it 15 years after I've been on it. I still refer to it probably weekly. And if you want any of the recipes that you found in the video, I will link them in the description along with all of the tools and kitchen gadgets that I cannot live without because honestly, the thing about cooking that makes it enjoyable and not drudgery is having kitchen appliances and tools and knives that are high quality because here's something that I learned at culinary school is that the most dangerous tool in the kitchen is a dull knife. A sharp knife, no issues. A dull knife, that's where you run into all the, all the issues. So I will also link all of my favorite things below, as well as some of my favorite specific carbohydrate diet products, like those pre-soaked lentil noodles that you saw me enjoying all the time, and the pad thai noodles that are made out of hearts of palm, and oh my gosh, you've got to get coconut secret coconut aminos, and just, I'll list everything, don't worry. So. Happy eating, happy cooking. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. That really helps me out as I'm trying to grow this little corner of YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. God bless.